Anybody with the slightest grasp of world history knows it's an awful tale of war and conquest, subjugation and exploitation. And many of the worst stories remain those that are largely untold. The wholesale annihilation of indigenous peoples by the Western invaders who turned up bearing their guns, germs and steel, as Jared Diamond has it. But though the invaders were frequently greeted as gods, they saw no merit whatsoever in the cultures they took over, completely failing to recognise the genius of the locals in adapting to quite inhospitable terrains. In the 1950s, the Canadian government was moving the Inuit off their lands, making them go to live in reservations. And there's a story told by the anthropologist Wade Davis that quite opens your eyes to the world they lived in. It probably didn't happen, but it's true all the same. There was one old man who refused to go. But it's cold here, it's dark, the government told him. But I don't care, I like the cold, I like the dark. His family feared for his life, and to convince him to join them, they took away all of his tools and his weapons, assuming then he'd have no choice but to leave. In response, the old man walked outside into the snow and took a big shit in his hand. He held it up into the arctic breeze that blew at minus 30 and as it instantly began to freeze he spat on the end and sculpted it into a blade. He called over a dog and slit its throat and then skinned it turning its hide into a kind of harness. Then he sat on its ribcage and called over another dog. He tied the harness around this second dog and using his improvised sledge, rode away into the night. <laughs>